Hello! So, in my last video, I showed you the way that I practiced to regain power. Now, I want to give you some exercises because that one was probably a bit hard. There is also something very important in that way of practicing, and that is that uh, it has a specific um, nature. So, I call it uh, the cycles, when you exercise in cycles. You do that when you want to develop two things at the same time. One is the focus on a certain technique or sound or rhythmic pattern. And the other is to have flexibility. Uh, so there must be a connection between the parts inside the cycle, but it is built up around the center. So today with two examples, you will probably get a better understanding of what it is. This is the way I exercise, but I also give this uh, to my students because I find it, it is a very efficient way of exercising. Why? Because if you just exercise one thing separately from everything else that you know, it becomes quite difficult to include that thing that you learned inside the song because song is connected between part A and part B and part C and so on. And if you have only one uh, isolated uh, island uh, that you can play, it's very difficult to play it inside the song. So the cycles, they train you to move around certain patterns that have some connection. So the principle goes like this. There is a setup which is also rest later on in the exercise, but in the beginning it's a setup. Then you start to play something which is hard for you, then something which is very hard, and that is the main focus of your exercising, then something that is less hard, then you come to that part which is very hard again, then something which is hard, and then you come to uh, rest, and then you repeat again, rest, hard, very hard, less hard, very hard, hard, and then rest again. So for beginners, I propose an exercise which teaches you the way of the pulse and the way of using your voice on tooth. And you don't need to know even the circular breathing. So you can say, oh, what a beginner exercise which includes uh, draw, uh, voice on the tooth. Yes, but you have to realize that it's a kind of just a simple separation of how the lips vibrate. So do they vibrate for the drone? or for the tooth, and you use voice on top of that. So voice is something totally independent from it. And our exercise will be pulses of four. So you will have four pulses on the drone. Then you will have four pulses on the tooth. Then you will have four pulses with voice and tooth. Then you will have just four pulses with voice. Then you will have again four pulses of uh, voice on tooth then four pulses of toots, and then four pulses of drone. And that is one cycle. So this is for someone who is struggling a little bit with a toot and who is struggling with this pulsing connections. Okay. So the simplest way to explain how you play the toot, you play the drone like this and you play the toot like this. Okay, so you just tighten your lips. So let's do the exercise. So here I played two cycles. If this is too fast for you, you can slow it down and you breathe after each pulse. So I will play it once again slower.
So this exercise would be for someone who is struggling a little bit more with tooth because it has more tooths inside. However, if you struggle a little bit more with singing, with voice, then I suggest that you replace that first hard part, which is just toot, 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 to be drawn with voice. Okay, so I will play once the other version. So in the voice version, you have voice everywhere except in uh, the setup and, uh, well, everywhere, actually, everywhere except the setup and rest, which is the same. And in the toot version, you have toot everywhere except the setup and the less hard part, the middle part. So whether you are struggling with one or the other, choose your nemesis. Okay, choose the exercise which is more difficult for you. You can try also the easier, but the point is to challenge yourself and you, are, you have a focused attention on a certain challenge. So you, you say, say to yourself, I want to practice toots. So instead of just practicing toots and having that as one isolated knowledge, you can practice the toot in the toots in the exercise that I gave first or if you say I have a problem with singing so instead of just singing on the ditch you can sing in the this pulses that they gave you is a uh, uh, version B of the exercise so that would be a beginner way of uh, playing in cycles even if you can't do the circular breathing you can still play in the cycle and that pulsing is very very important the intermediate exercise will build around the rhythm that I very often give uh, for practice, for homeworks and so. Um, so it is tawa katawa katawa. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And uh, we will build uh, an exercise like this. The first part, the, the rest part, will be tawa katawa katawa, but, but just with the harmonics. So it will be tau i dao i dao, tau i tau i tau. It doesn't matter, so there just needs to be some vague image of that pul pulsation inside the drone, okay? The next step, the hard step, will be to take this tawa katawa katawa and really articulate it and really uh, compress the drone and um, condense it to smaller bits, carve it out into something which is really recognizable. And the very hard part will be that we put the tooth on the wa and we put the voice on the ta, okay? The hard part, the less hard part, will be that um, you just remove all the vibration from the lips and you just um, like whisper <laughs> with, a, with a push and you, you sing on that, okay? And then we, we go back to... Uh, articulation with the tooth and voice, then just articulation and then just harmonic frame, okay? So it goes like this.
So you need to find um, something which you can work on and that is your focus. Whether it's what I have been doing and showing this exercises or it's something different, that is up to you to know. Uh, once you find that focus of your attention, uh, something that you would really like to improve, you have to build the exercises around it. So one thing that you can change is um, just the toots that you play, for example, or you can uh, change a uh, rhythm that you add a little bit or reduce a little bit from the rhythm. In that way, you can exercise some uh, rhythm making or you can um, put to air code something that you have been uh, playing like in your normal rhythm. And in this way, you build uh, around something which is most interesting to you. So I hope that these examples help you to understand how to uh, create this exercising cycles. It's always good if you find a teacher for the things that you that are troubling you because teacher has this observation and can give you some tips around it. I also give online lessons. If you're interested, you can contact me or we can see each other or at some workshop or even masterclass. So in this video, I used Kairos because it's a very easy to play didgeridoo. If you want to learn more about it, you can do so at our didgeridoo website. If you like the video, then you can like the video. And if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. And in any way, you know, spiral out, keep going.